قناة صغار تسمعني هاكي أول شيء أنا سعيد جدا بإني موجود اليوم ببيتكم ببيروت البيت اللي أول ما دخلت له قلت لك جنة صغيرة بهالمدينة اللي كلها كونكريت وكلها مباني أنت شو قلتي لي؟ A small heaven in a bigger heaven سو هيدي النظرة لبيروت فعلا أثرت فيني ولكن بدي أقول حضرتك هاف بيرجو وهاف لبنيز وفتت بدي اسالك عن الارض صرت بدي اسال عن تاريخ عيلتك حقيقه ف يعني ما ضعت ولكن احترت بشو بدي بلش عن تاريخ عيلتك او عن هالذوق الجميل الموجود بعيلتك اللي استقبلونا بكل احترام وكل محبه او هالفن الجميل اللي شفته everywhere on the walls ثانك يو وعلى الارض وبالصوفيه ف ثانك يو كيف بدي بلش رح اسالك اول شيء yes. عن الارض يعني ما رح اسالك كيف تاثرتي بالارض لانه صرت بعرف انه انت هذا الشيء اللي عشتي فيه واللي خلقتي فيه عملك بتحبي الارض وباشنت ان ارض شو فيك تقولي عن هذا الموضوع؟ I've been raised in art all my life from as long as I remember I've been exposed to art I've been exposed to culture uh, my parents are art enthusiasts from the first memories I have are museums are all forms of art, theater, music, uh, it's in my blood. I've grown up in places like Lebanon, which have culture, Florence, London. I've been lucky to travel the world, and my parents are always pushing us to open our minds more, and they do that by exposing us to art. And you went to the USA. Yes. Uh, وبعدين تنقلتي مثل ما ما كنت عم تقولي لعدة uh, بلدان. Yes. Uh, هذا التنقل خليك تحبي uh, الحضارة الإنسانية أكثر مثل ما كنت عم تقولي. Yes. أمك وبيك شجعوا شجعوكم أنت وإخواتك عندك أخ وأخت yes. على الانفتاح على كل الحضارات. Yes. So بهالطريقة صرت تحبي الحضارات أكثر صرت تتقبل الإنسان أكثر وأكثر. For sure. مهما كان دينه مهما كان تنوعه الثقافي او العرقي او ما شابه regardless of political background regardless of educational background regardless of social status gender nationality i'm a global citizen i'm a citizen of the world and we're all united as one however in all this beautiful world that i saw that i lived that i was raised in i choose lebanon why did you choose lebanon to live because in because lebanon has everything Everything I saw in the rest of the world, we have it all here. Hello. Nature, beauty, culture, history, people, everything in the microcosm of its own here in Lebanon. But I remember that your father came to Lebanon. Yes. And your father was born in Lebanon. Correct. And you also lived in Lebanon. يعني Correct. لذلك اللبنانيه انتم عندكم جنسيه لبنانيه وانتم yes. بتفتخروا بانكم تكونوا لبنانيين مثل ما عم تتفضلي وتقولي امك وبيك شو تعلمتي منهم غير حب الارض؟ كايندنس امباثي اكسبتنس اوف ايفري ون نو جادجمنت تو تراي تو نوت اونلي تو بي كايند But to transfer the kindness through generosity, through helping people, through helping people educate themselves, through helping people find more culture, I think they taught me how to be a good person. Hello, Tanaz, but the food shway la hayatik shaksi bimana and mushuda rasti. Okay. Wahida tanakul bain al buldain al muhimmi, ali anda history of art, history of culture. History of everything, uh, history of humanity. شو أثرت عليك؟ Okay, I did my. بشخصيتك وبعلمك. Okay, my primary, my my school education was a British education system, which exposes you to a lot of art and culture. It's history, art, culture. They're very important. As are the rest, mathematics. They, they allow they they teach you to learn, love to learn. Mm. So that was my. First set of education. I went on to do my bachelor's degree in operations management, which is manufacturing, warehousing, shipping. Why manufacturing? Because I love the concept of creation. To take something and to create something else, mm. which is the basis of art. 
Yes, true. You take something and you create something else. Perhaps I did it technically, but it, in itself, it is the art of manufacturing. And if you look at, for example, Dr. Kirillos, he's a sculptor. What he does is the essence of manufacturing. When you study operations management, the first thing you do is you see a workshop like his. Before the Industrial Revolution, before everything, this was the essence of manufacturing. So in a sense, it is an art in itself. Following that, I did my master's. I was very influenced by, by my father's travels. He traveled a lot to the Far East. He exposed us through art. Did you go sometimes? Actually, no. I went afterwards. I went as an artist. He used to come back. He used to bring art. Our house was always always having new art pieces, Japanese, uh, Asian, all, all over the world. <laughs> so, and the philosophies that came along with it allowed me to have a much broader perspective on life, mm. be it Confucius, be it Lao, be it... In that, that influenced me to continue to study total quality management, which is the Japanese principle of Kaizen, continuous improvement. And it doesn't apply to one, one thing in your life. It's a holistic approach to life as a whole, be it business, be it your, your life, continuous improvement. There is always the ability to continuously improve, to reach the next step. All you need to have is the will and the want, and the rest will come. You have to keep trying. Mm. Uh, yes. Did you practice this? Yes, and, sure. In your uh, business? And, yes, uh, sure. I, when I first moved, yes. When I first, when I finished, when I graduated, my parents had moved back to Lebanon. And when I came here, I was very fortunate, even though I didn't speak a word of Arabic and I didn't speak a word of French. And it was the... You still don't. Well, <laughs> I, well I could, I could, I could. <laughs> no, Allah, you, you can. No. I can. But... Uh, but I, I prefer to talk in Arabic. For sure. For sure. I'm comfortable. comfortable. Yes, comfortable. Yeah. comfortable. Um, I was given a big break by an amazing gentleman who allowed me to jump in the deep end and join a management consultancy firm where I was exposed to the best and strongest industry leaders in Lebanon. I worked from FMCG with Obligé Consumer Products. I worked in manufacturing with Unicerarnique. We worked with insurance like Clover. We, did, we had many large financial institutions and it really gave me exposure on a large scale of what Lebanon is capable of. Because in 98, when I came here, Lebanon was starting to boom again. Yes. The war was over, so I saw the potential. Mm. I saw what you can do. I saw what the industrialists were able to do. Forget that we got broken again, but the potential was there. For sure. If we put hand in hand and we come together and we help each other, for sure. Without a doubt. Better than any other country in the world. economy, or in art, or anything that help people? The best thing I could do is to use my voice and to put forward a platform where I can bring people together to open dialogue, to see the importance of unity. But for dialogue to be comfortable, you need to be in a comfortable place, in a place that inspires you, in a place that speaks to you. And that can only be in a home, which has art, which opens dialogue, which allows you to... You're talking about the art, but you're talking about a million other things as well. Hello. So now you're going to be on the topic of the new project, the new project. Yes. And what did you bring to the World Art Collector? What did you bring to the Fadi? Until we talk about the new project. Okay. All right. Let's put aside that uh, we're family friends, and we, our families are good friends and have been friends for a long time. However, I didn't meet him like that at all. Okay, my brother-in-law, Hassan Sharafuddin, who is working with me on the project and is doing all the construction and reconstruction for the building, is an interior architect and he was looking for some paintings. And it had been a while I was following the World Art Collector Group. So one day I send them a message saying, I've seen a few pieces, may I come and see them? To which Mr. Malas replies, hi Tiraz, it's Fadi. Ah, surprise, I had no idea, I had no clue it was him. So, August 4th, Yes. August 4th, Hassan couldn't make it, but since Mr. Malas was, we had an appointment, I said, I'll go, I'll see the artwork, I'll take some pictures and I'll show Hassan. As we're sitting there and we're all talking and we're chatting, the explosion took place. Oh. 
and I was with Mrs. Jero, and we were chatting, and Mr. Melas saved our lives. I didn't realize it was an explosion at first. I thought it was an earthquake. He, between Mr. Melas and a painting of Ra Dr. Rauf Rifai, our lives were saved. Oh. I, I left from that place thinking that I will never be able to find hope again. I nearly lost my mother, my children. They were in Abseh Shafia. Um, it was the blackest day of my life. Yes, but Alhamdulillah, God bless you. Alhamdulillah, they were safe. Everything was after okay. After a long after. time, everyone was okay. However, this meeting stayed in my mind, and I was following them more strongly. And I was seeing that every artist that I love is coming together under this umbrella, all together, uniting together. All these artists, and it's not only their work I love. Simon Mahanna. I love the way he thinks. I love what he did when the explosion happened. He went down in the streets and he was cleaning. Uh, Fadia Ahmed, she had taken the last set of photos of what was left of Mar Mikhail, of yes. They uh, All these people were coming together under this World Art Collector group. Again, I decided I'm going to call them again and I want to go one more time. I went another time. Uh, I had an experience that was mind-blowing. I got to meet a few people, and then came the unicorn of Dr. Kyrgyz. Mm. <laughs> this was my third time to go. You like I, it, huh? Oh my God, I picked up the phone and I actually said, may I come and see the unicorn? Because it completely, completely... Shari, shari. Yes. On the day I went to see the unicorn, there was a big... You were filming, there was a lunch going on, there was all these artists, everything was transparent, there, there was magic happening. I could hear, I could hear hope in the room. I could, yes. see, I could see that these people are working as a team in one hand, on one direction, and only for the good of the people. And some of them have two things. Some of them have two things in the country, and some of them have two things in the country. Yes. Exactly. Not everything is a change. Exactly. Or a change. Exactly. They come out of the fun, they come out of the stuff. For sure. And they come out of the community. For sure. For sure. This is it. For sure. Art in itself, if you look at times of, in times of tragedy, it is always when art flourishes. Why? Because art heals, art spreads love, art increases communication, it brings unity, it brings people together without religion, without uh, social status, without judgment. It asks no questions. And also, it's the sharing of one soul to another. However, what they do at the World Art Collector Group is that they allow you to meet the artists, they bring you together. It's, it, it's so transparent, as in, I, I don't feel I bought a piece from the World Art Collector Group. I bought a piece through the World Art Collector Group after meeting the artist, and you're buying the soul of an artist. They're giving you a piece of themselves. This experience, to meet them, to know them, to, and then to bring a part of them and put it in your home, it's mind-blowing. لذلك كيف طلعت معك فكرة موضوع البناء هوم ذا بيلدينج خلينا نحكي شوي okay. للي عم بيحضرنا yes. شو الفكرة؟ I didn't know how to give back. I knew I wanted to give back. I see my father giving back. I see my sister who is an entrepreneur in her own right giving back all the time. I see my brother-in-law who was Hassan was involved in a lot of the restructuring work in the streets and I didn't know what I could do to give back. And I love entrepreneurship, I love art, I love community. And we have my grandparents' home in Badaro, and my father was always very attached to it. And I knew that he always wanted to do something with it that would give back. Mm. He didn't want to do something that would be a profit-making business. He wanted to give back. This is how my father is. This is the thing I learned. The biggest thing I learned from my father is always give, never ask for taking. Hello. Always give. Very important. If it comes, what comes, comes, but always give. So we were having lunch at Art House in honor of Wissam Milhem. He was doing an exhibition. And I was thinking, I want to work with these people. And I did a lot of work on teamwork. A lot of my, a lot of my work has been published. I've written a lot of articles on teamwork and the importance of teamwork on all aspects. Here I am seeing a team working for the better of my country, working hand in hand to create a better tomorrow. And I wanted a part of it. And I thought, let me suggest to Mr. Malas. I told him I have this building. I would like to in some way participate with you. I'd like to offer you this building as a platform to expand your group, to strengthen your voice, to come together 
and to allow people, more people to see, to shine the light on the artists that we have, to see the hope we have, to see the potential we have. There's so much potential. I mean, bear in mind, they're also doing the World Art Incubator, which is like Lebanon's Got Talent for Art. Yes. It is not limited to the names who are already existing and strong. You're digging, as you said yourself, digging for talent everywhere. Where, be it Tripoli, be it a child, be it a person who's already retired, you have professors, you have people who are well, having I mean, studied I mean, I mean, ah, Exactly. You're spreading the good word with the light on the right place, the light on the talent. Once the light is on the talent, the talent is free to create. Once they're free to create, we're winning. Yes, it is. We are one. Yes, for sure. We want to do more. We want to do more. We want entrepreneurship doesn't stop at one thing. When you have, there's, there's a journey we're taking. We want to rebuild our country together, be it as one team in five people and then we have other teams attached, or be it one big team, but we have to come together. This project, if we come and others, do you think it will help the other to help them in the development of their country? Yes, for sure. And the rules of their country that they may want to help. For sure. If we, the people who are hungry, desperate. Listen, it's up to it's up to the people who have the potential and who still have the opportunity. If you're sleeping hungry, what can you give back? You can't. But us who are comfortable, privileged, and blessed more than we deserve, then it's our duty to give back. This is not a hotel. You can't come and go as you like. I can get up and leave and go live anywhere else. But this is not a hotel. This is our country. This is our home. Maybe we will inspire someone else to do the same. Maybe someone else wants to do the same and doesn't know how to do it and we can help them to do it. Maybe it's in another industry. Maybe it's in the same industry. I mean, the potential is boundless. There is, there is no ceiling or cap to how far this can go. If people believe and come hand in hand and open dialogue, the sky is the limit. Look at cities like Florence. Florence is built purely on art, culture, and history. Look at us in Lebanon. We have art. We have the oldest inha continuously inhabited city in the world, Shbeh. We have, outside my house, there's Roman pillars. Outside my house. But do we represent these? We, we, we didn't, maybe we didn't create the alphabet as we'd like to believe, but we spread the alphabet throughout. <laughs> We have so much. We have all these people from all these backgrounds, all these religions living together. Why not have harmony? Why not have peace and unity? We don't need someone else to do it for us. We do it together. We will do it hand in hand. بالعودة للفن اللي أنت عم تحكي عنه كل الوقت عن الأرض. Yes. أنت كمان عندكم بيت في فلورنس ومتأثرة بهذا الشيء وشو وشوف نقطة من الرنسانس عندكم هون. Yes. هذا الشيء قد إيه حببك ب بالفن أيضا وأي نوع فن بتحب تناس أبا. Yes, it influenced me a lot because it showed me that the something which you think is not living can be brought to life through art. Yes. Hence, it inspired me to go into manufacturing again, going back to creation, to be able to create life from the inanimate, to breathe life into a piece of paper, although the paper is living, but to breathe, to bring pillars to life. When you walk in the streets of Florence, you walk with your head up down, you don't know where to look. Lebanon is the same, but we just need to put the light on it. What kind of art do I like? I like dark art. Lord. I like it a little bit dark. I'm a big fan of Simone Mahanda, huge fan. I like how, I like his dichotomies. I like, I love Dr. Kyrgios' sculpture. Sculpture for me is... Khabrina <laughs> sculptures. Yes. Why, why do you like sculptures? Because, because it, it says so much. It is, firstly, the manufacturing process of it. The process of taking different pieces and bringing them together to create something new. Secondly, the philosophy way of thinking behind it. I've had, I thought I knew about sculpting and I didn't know anything until I sat down with Dr. Kyrgios. He exploded my mind. The fact that you can say so much in something that is 3D, mm. in something, for me, 
that moves me. More than the, the no, paintings? No, not more than the paintings. Different than Different. the paintings. You don't love your children more than each other. Of course. Do you? you just love them each one in a different way. So exactly. no, but because I'm a manufacturing background, it just touches me in a different way. And, and I like dark art because without darkness, there is no light. Without pain, there is no happiness. Without, sad, without rain, you don't appreciate the sun. If it was sunny every day, it's too hot. It needs to rain for you to love the sun. And isn't this what we're living in? We lost everything. So. But if we don't lose everything, we don't learn to appreciate the small things, appreciate the beauty we have, appreciate the people we have. Tanaz, why did you study art? You know, I wanted to be a criminologist. Oh. I wanted to do forensic sciences. <laughs> it was either forensic sciences, again, the dark and the light, understanding oh. the psychology, the mind. And art, art is all about psychology and the mind and the, the metaphysical. And it covers everything from mathematics to everything. But I, was, I, had, I hadn't even turned 17 when I chose my major. Uh -huh. So manufacturing is the most technical form of art. So you can say, oh, I'm going to study manufacturing, and no one says, oh, what will you do after? The arts are not appreciated enough. People tell you, you're going to study art. Oh, you're going to be a painter. You're not going to make, don't you want to do business? My, my headmaster at my school said to me, don't be like the idiot who thinks about business. Hello. Think about lifelong learning. You don't take business with you. When you go, صح. the business stays behind. الله يطول عمرك مية بالمية. تناز أخواتك كمان تأثروا بالفن مثل ما أنت. For الفن. sure, for sure. يعني خيك وأختي. Yes, my sister studied. شو اسمها أختي؟ My sister Yasmin Aga. Yasmin Aga شرف الدين. Okay. وأخوك شو اسمه؟ Ali Aga. Okay. My brother lives in Cyprus still. My brother, my sister lives here. She's an entrepreneur and the owner of Cookie Dough. Mm -hmm. However, she was very heavily in the arts. She was in the theater. She, if you go past her shop and drive past her window. It will answer your question about is she into art or not. Everything uh -huh. she does, like my mother, everything she does is like art. Whatever she touches is art. كنت عم بحكي أنا وياك قبل المقابلة إنه الأم لا طبعاً البي الله طول عمره أمي وستك تعرفنا عليهم بس ال ال الأم بالبيت إلى أساس ب يمكن بتزيين المنزل لو كان أصر أو لو كان أوضة غرفة واحدة. For sure. So ال الأم أتذكر إلى دور ما عندك بتخصيصي. The most important role. The most important role. What I grew up in Cyprus. When I lived there, it was a village. There was nothing. We didn't have television. We didn't have anything. My mother would entertain us with flowers, with art, with nature, anything artistic. with creation. She would take things, and we would we were constantly creating. She would always take us when we traveled to museums. Even even if we didn't want to, we'd, she'd take us to auctions. We would, we would be the kids sitting in Sotheby's watching an auction, just to watch, to learn. So, yes, my mother was the hugest influence. And your father, what about him? My father loves art. He loves art, but he doesn't like to talk. He loves art, he likes it, he takes it. My father is a black and white person. I like it, I love it, I don't want to hear too much talking, which is why I drive him crazy with my... Because unfortunately we don't focus, we have no light on it. Before the World Art Collector Group, no one was speaking about it. We have great artists, we have artists who are in museums abroad, and people abroad celebrate them and us... Yes, for sure, for sure, without a doubt. It's an investment for the future. It's an investment for your children. It's a legacy you leave behind. I wouldn't, you want to buy it and sell it? Go ahead. For me, I would buy it. I would keep it. It's a legacy. I'm leaving my children culture. I'm leaving them history. It's their story. How else will you make roots if you don't have your story? If you don't know your story, you will never belong. I understand the conversation with you today that you are always confident and confident in the future of this country بالاقتصاد تبع هالبلد sure. واللي بده يتفائل مش بس بده يتفرج انه انا متفائل بده يحط ايده بالورشه yes. yes. بده يحط ايده بالشغل سو yes. so هيدا هيدي تناز اغا yes. متفائل بمستقبل لبنان yes. وبالواقع تبع لبنان ما عم نقول مستقبل بعد 100 no. سنه عم نحكي ناو يس ناو اتس اولويز جوت تو بي ناو ميبي تومورو وونت كم وي سو ذات ليتس دو ات ناو سو ذات وين تومورو كمز وي ريدي فور ان شاء الله بيجي تومورو we'll بس انت من اليوم عم عم توعدينا توعدي اللي عم بيحضرونا وعم عم توعدي اصحابي كل اللبنانيين اللي بيعرفوك انه انت رح تحطي ايدك yes. وتشاركي بدعم yes. الفن 
يس وعندك مشاريع ثانيه حكيتي عنها برياده الاعمال يس وعندك مشاريع اخرى رح قادمه على الطريق يس اخر شيء شو بدك تقولي لهالفنانين ولا داعمي الفن I would like to thank the artists for their love of this country, for their willingness to still create even though no one's been appreciating them. I would like to thank the World Art Collector Group for appreciating them and therefore allowing them to create even more, to bring light even to the ones who have gone and not with us anymore. Yes. They're bringing light back onto them. I appreciate and thank everyone and I insist that everyone is responsible to make this country better. Do whatever it is you can. Support the arts, be, give a sandwich to a person, each one within their limit, but everybody must put their hand together to make it better. Without it, we'll get nowhere. We only have each other. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. My honor, my pleasure. Always a pleasure with you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. <laughs>